Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okay guys, so let's continue with example number 2. Okay, so here we have a uniform ladder is L equal to 5 meter. And the weight of the ladder is given 400 newton. So the ladder rests against a slippery vertical wall. Okay, so means that uh, perkataan slippery vertical wall means that the wall is smooth. Alright, means that no friction on the wall. So as shown in the figure. So the inclination angle between the ladder and the rough floor is beta and it is given 53 uh, degree. Okay, so find the reaction forces from the floor and from the wall. Okay, bila sebut reaction forces uh, from the floor, okay, so means that dekat bahagian sini kita akan ada normal force. Okay, so letak normal force due to the floor. Okay, and then um, apa lagi? And from the wall, eh, the reaction forces from the wall. Okay, so from the wall, so this is the direction of the normal force. Okay, from the wall. Okay, on the ladder. Okay, and then we need to find The coefficient of static friction, mu s. So, ada tiga benda yang kita nak cari. Mu s, so reaction forces, floor and wall. Okay, and w, and f dan juga mu s. Okay, so since this is the rough floor, so maknanya kita akan ada uh, frictional force. Okay, so the direction of the frictional force dekat mana? So, awak kena buat kerja sikit iaitu imagine. So, awak kena imagine kalau tangga ini bergerak dan tidak statik, dia akan uh, terjatuh. So, dia akan bergerak in this direction. Betul? Okay. So, means that the static frictional force that hold the ladder to be static or equilibrium should be to the right. Okay. Uh, ini yang akan hold tangga tu. Okay. Yang akan membantu untuk hold tangga itu supaya statik. Okay, uh, so kena lukis betul-betul lah direction of the static frictional force. Selain daripada force yang kita lukis, ada satu lagi jangan lupa for uniform rigid body. So we must consider the weight of the object. So the position of W, okay, kita perlu lukis dekat tengah-tengah tangga ini. Okay, the direction should be downward. Okay, W, L saya letak. Okay, so kalau kita tengok secara kasarnya, kita punya diagram kita macam inilah. Okay, so this is the wall and then this is the floor. Okay, and then let's sketch a line which is considered this as the ladder. Okay, something like that. Alright, so now I will draw all the forces tadi. So, kita ada normal, okay, from the wall to the, uh, to the ladder and then the normal from the floor to the onto the ladder and then the frictional force which is equal to mu s and f okay and then here we have the weight of the ladder all right and focus on the angle so the angle here is given 53 degree all right so means that this should be 90 eh 90 minus 53 jadi kenapa saya kata uh, 90 minus 53 so look at here we have a triangle right okay so kalau kita tengok so 90 degree here and then this is should be 90 minus 53 okay so 90 minus 53 dekat situ kita boleh uh, tulis sebagai 37 eh saya nak letak color lain lah so angle ni saya tak color hijau okay 37 Alright, and the angle here should be 53. Okay, sudut berselang-seli. Kalau dekat sini 53, sini pun mesti 53 degree. Okay, so now let's choose the pivot point. Okay, so sebelum mula saya akan pilih lah uh, pivot point. Macam mana kita nak pilih? Ha. Choose pivot. So, tipsnya adalah we need to choose pivot at 
point that have more forces. Okay, choose pivot at point that have more forces. Okay, so saya akan pilih. Ha, jadi sekarang saya akan pilih point yang ini. Ha, kalau apa saya nak pakai ni. Sekejap eh, saya ambil satu lagi color. Kali hijau ni lah. Okay, saya akan pilih ini. So, we choose here as our pivot. Okay, sebab dekat sini, point ini lebih banyak force berbanding dengan point di sini. Okay, so this is our pivot point. Boleh. And always remember, okay, at the pivot point, force mana yang duduknya dekat pivot point. So, nilai top untuk normal force, okay, from the floor on the ladder is equal to zero. Top due to the frictional force also equal to zero. Automatically equal to zero. Ha, so, ini kena ingat dulu. Boleh. So, now let's write all the equation. Kita tahu bila equilibrium, total fx equal to zero, total fy equal to zero, and total torque also equal to zero. Okay, so saya akan mulakan dengan total fx equal to zero. So, kalau kita tengok pada kita punya diagram ni, kita ada dua force. Okay, yang uh, berada pada X komponen iaitu NW dan juga FS. Okay, so NW is to the left, FS is to the right. So, saya akan ambil salah satu mesti positif dan negatif lah. Saya so, ambil saja yang to the right is positif plus uh, to the left is negative normal force. Okay, from the wall on the ladder, it's equal to zero. Okay, so saya tak boleh pun nak selesaikan normal force NW. Okay, kita tinggalkan saja ini sebagai satu equation. Boleh? So, saya proceed kepada equation yang kedua iaitu total FY pula equal to zero. Okay, so kita tengok pada diagram kita ada berapa force that in Y component. So, we have two forces, NF and also WL. Boleh? So, NF, the direction is upward. So, should be positive plus negative WL. Okay? So, sekarang kita dah boleh menjawab soalan. So, soalan suruh kita kira reaction force from the floor and reaction force from the wall. Okay, jadi the normal force from the floor kita dah boleh terus selesaikan since the question give us the value of the weight of the ladder is equal to 400 newton. Okay, so kita dah menjawab soalan yang pertama. Kita dah bagi jawapan yang pertama. Inilah jawapan kita. Okay, so kita proceed pula kepada equation yang ketiga. Since kita belum menjawab semua soalan, saya akan bergerak kepada equation yang ketiga. Okay, which is total torque is equal to zero. Okay, so now total torque is equal to zero. Jadi bagi siapa yang dah biasa buat table, okay, awak boleh letak dalam table. Tapi saya uh, tidak menunjukkan dalam bentuk table ya. Okay, so total torque is equal to zero. Okay, so kita dah pilih tadi pivot point kita here, alright. So automatically torque NF equal to zero, torque FS equal to zero. So kita tak payah includekan dalam kita punya equation sebab dia tak ada nilai. Okay, so no turning effect from NF dan juga no turning effect from friction. Jadi sekarang hanya tinggal dua saja iaitu WL dan juga NF. Okay, jadi sekarang kita start dulu dengan torque. Okay, due to the weight of the ladder. Okay, saya nak mulakan dengan ini terlebih dahulu. Okay, so look at the direction. Ha, macam mana nak tentukan direction clockwise ke anti-clockwise? Masih ada yang tak tahu. Okay, lukis dulu dekat sini pivot point dia tadi. So, this is the ladder and look at the direction of WL. It is downward direction. Lukis balik. So, look at here. This is the pivot. So, gerak pergi dekat sini. And here we have WL where the direction is downward direction. Okay. Uh, so, kita boleh tulislah RL. Uh, RL daripada pivot kita tahu ni adalah half kan. Half of the ladder. So, kalau panjang ladder tadi dia dah bagi 5 meter. So, separuh daripada 5 should be 2.5 meter. Boleh eh. Uh, so, tulis elok-elok dekat sini kejap. 2.5 meter. 
uh, RL 2.5 meter Okay And then the angle between RL and WL WL kita dah tahu dah 400 Newton Okay so the angle is 37 uh, Kita terus sambil saja uh, Kalau siapa yang suka nak resolve WL into WLX and WLY So it's up to you Kalau awak rasa itu lebih mudah Tapi saya rasa ini paling mudahlah untuk awak follow bagi siapa yang uh, rasa tajuk ni susah sangat nak faham kan. So ini cara yang paling mudah untuk you kira torque and you nak tentukan direction of the torque due to WL. So daripada pivot gerak ke sini turun ke bawah kembali kepada pivot point. So the direction is clockwise so the value of torque due to WL should be negative value. Okay, so kalau saya tulis stock due to the weight of the ladder, alright, should be equal to negative RL WL sin theta. Sin theta, here we have sin 37 degree which is the angle between RL and WL. Boleh? So saya masukkan nilai. Okay, RL kita dah tahu tadi 2.5 meter. WL is 400 Newton sin 37 degree. Negatif jangan tertinggal eh. So you akan dapat negative 601.815 Newton meter. Okay. Dan itu kita baru buat talk untuk weight of the ladder. So kalau saya proceed kepada second part. Okay. So kita nak kira pula talk due to the normal force from the wall. Okay. This one. Jadi sama juga nak tentukan clockwise ke anti-clockwise. So kita lukis juga. Jadi daripada pivot point naik atas gerak and this is NW. Okay. Uh, so NW kita tak tahu nilai dia berapa. Kita biarkan saja. Tapi RW. So from here from the pivot point sampai dekat hujung dinding ni. It is the length of the ladder which is 5 meter. Tuliskan dekat situ 5 meter. Buat satu-satu. And then the angle here. Okay. So we know that this is 53 degree. And this is actually the angle between RW and NW. So from the pivot, gerak ke sini, pergi ke sini, patah balik ke pivot. And the direction is anti-clockwise direction. So positive. Okay. So now let's write. Talk due to the normal force from the wall on the ladder should be positive okay so positive r w so times the normal force and w sine 53 degree jadi kalau kita tengok dekat sini kita masih uh, tidak boleh selesaikan lagi soalan ni okay sebab kita tak ada n w okay uh, masukkan nilai So saya selesaikan dulu 5 times sine 53 Ok saya selesaikan Tapi saya tinggalkan jawapan saya In terms of NW Ok uh, Macam tu lah saya tinggalkan dahulu Ok so kita selesaikan Therefore total torque is equal to 0 Is equal to uh, Torque WL Plus torque NW Equal to 0 So saya masukkan lah nilai Tok WL kita dapat negatif 601.815 plus tok NW kita dapat jawapan kita in terms of NW tadi 3.993 NW is equal to 0. Okay kalau kita nampak dekat sini we have one unknown which is NW so we can solve for NW now. Alright so NW is equal to Awak uh, kira lah kita dah dapat jawab soalan normal force from the wall on the ladder which is equal to 150.7 Newton. Okay so ini jawapan yang kedua. Dan kita dah tahu NW. Okay so saya akan tulis dekat sini tak muat eh. Uh, saya muat saya letak kat sini lah. Okay so since. NW is equal to frictional force that which is equal to 150.7 Newton. So therefore we can write Fs is equal to mu SN. F. Okay. 
So kita nak cari soalan suruh kita cari coefficient of static friction mu s. Okay. So mu s is equal to f s over n f. N f tu adalah normal force from the floor eh. So saya sambung dekat tepi ni tak muat. Okay. So saya akan letak uh, mu s is equal to f s kita dah tahu. F s nilainya sama dengan n w which is 150.7. Over normal force from the floor on the ladder should be equal to 400. Sini tadi kita dah dapat. So, kita tulis saja 400. So, kita pun dapatlah jawapan dan menjawab soalan yang terakhir iaitu 0.377. Tak ada unit ya, coefficient of static friction. So, this is the answer. Alright, so finish example number 2. Let's proceed to example number 3.